I always forget one thing when I go on the road. Even though I do my checklist, I always forget one thing. And the one thing that I forgot was the film. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> was a comb. <laughs> Thank you. So I go down to the gift shop and said, excuse me, do you have any combs? And the woman said, why? It's called Lights, Camera, Independence, a film produced by Joey Travolta. It follows a crew of six autistic individuals hired as part of a film crew that travels across the country to work in summer film camps. A screening of his new film is being held tonight in Boca. CBS 12's Thomas Forrester sat down with him to talk about the film. Inclusion Films is a practical film workshop for adults with developmental disabilities. We teach uh, life skills, social skills, technical skills all through the process of making a film. And then we, together as a group, make films. I also do camps for children with autism all over the country. So this past year, I decided that would be really, really cool if we could take a student, former and present, out on the road with us and have them put their skills to the test, pay them, make it a road trip, and make it a documentary. I think when I was a kid, I always wanted to be part of not sort of a, a main group of people, but like a sort of a niche, you know. So in like high school, I joined like the anime club, and I didn't actually watch anime. And, and I, I would join the baseball team, you know, years after everyone else got practice. And when I found out they didn't want to talk about, you know, statistical analysis and, you know, the war versus batting average, I kind of lost interest. Um, the one thing, the one thing I was always able to attend, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't school. I had trouble with that. Um, I mean, I'd rather play video games. Don't do that. Don't, don't be me. Don't, don't go and play video games instead of going to high school. That's a really bad idea. The one thing I always attended was the Joey Travolta short film camp. I was a camper at the, uh, at the, you know, the Bay Area branch. And every, I don't think I missed a day there ever. First day being there, I was nervous. I, I thought, was, uh, thought I wasn't going to do good. But the minute I walked through that door, the minute I start, the minute I pursued doing it, no problems. I loved everyone. I loved the environment. I loved the work. And everyone, just like how Joey said, everyone becomes a family when it comes to making these things. And literally, that's what I felt. I literally felt that I was a part of the family. I was very excited about this opportunity uh, just, to, just to put everything I learned into into this, into this trip. Everything from the technical aspects to meeting people, to working with everyone. And it was the best time I've ever had. I got to get out of my comfort zone the whole time, working primarily on sound in all three of those camps. It was, it was something that I struggled very greatly at first and then adapted very well throughout, the, throughout New Jersey and Detroit, and it was the most fun I've ever had. It never felt like work to me. My father always told me that if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. Well, I have not worked a day in the last 10 years because I love what I do so much and working with this population.